Tangibilisco here to discuss something that I've probably made other videos about, and it's called a helical antenna. A helical antenna. Basically, it's meant for VHF and particularly for UHF and microwave frequencies. It is a directional antenna with a reflector made out of uh, metal, usually a solid disc, although it can be a screen as well, and a, a spring shaped or helical shaped, that's why they call it a helical antenna, <laughs> a length of uh, stiff tubing or other metal, uh, stiff wire, something like that, with a particular longitudinal spacing, that is the spacing between turns, a particular radius, and a particular length, all of which contribute to the gain and the frequency, the optimal frequency at which this thing will function. Well, uh, this particular illustration, by the way, comes from my book, Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, fifth edition, a link to which I will provide in the description of this video. But here's the rub. I know I haven't talked about this in regards to this particular antenna before, but I have talked about it in regards to other antennas, and if you're wondering what that is, wonder no longer. Suppose you make this, uh, this helix longer and longer and longer. The, the gain will increase as you make the helix longer, and the directional pattern will become more and more sharp. That is to say, the main lobe, which goes off in this direction towards the right, will get sharper and sharper and sharper. Now suppose that you were to make this spiral infinitely long. It's, it seems tempting, it is very tempting to suppose that you would get an infinite gain with an infinitely narrow lobe, that is to say an infinite amount of energy concentrated into a single point with zero volume or zero dimension. So you'll have an infinite amount of nothing. Or you might say you'll have no amount of an infinite quantity of something. It's tempting to believe that but first of all you've got to realize you can't do that in the first place so the whole discussion is academic um, a fellow ham uh, ma made the remark that maybe some of these videos these extreme example videos and i don't mean just extreme i mean infinitely extreme radical uh, might be inspired by the benzodiazepines which i've made another video about but I don't think so necessarily. I think what it's inspired by is just because I'm too dull-witted to think of anything better to talk about. But more importantly, I've always been weird like that. I've always imagined what would happen if you carried something not only to an extreme, but all the way to an infinite extreme. That is to say, you extrapolate forever. And what do you get? when you reach forever. Do you get an infinite amount of nothing? Or do you get no amount of an infinite object or quantity? You tell me, and, and, and as far as making snide remarks about the benzodiazepines, it may very well be that they are contributing to some of this. But who, who the heck knows, and I, I'll never recommend that you take benzodiazepine to enhance your imagination. In general, those drugs do nothing but destroy your imagination, and they destroy just about every other aspect of your life, and I've been there before. It's a sad country that we live in. Maybe there are other galaxies with more reasonable planets than ours. But on a planet where you can't smoke a weed that you might find in the woods somewhere without going to prison if you get caught, and yet doctors can prescribe medication for you that does far more damage when you take it and is far more destructive when you try to withdraw from it. I don't know. I'm wondering about this galaxy, too. Maybe it's ours, though. Well... 
There are a lot of other planets in this galaxy besides our own, probably with life on it arguably more intelligent than ours, but then again just about any life form is more intelligent than ours. Stan Gibalisco signing off with those snide remarks and that little bit of imagination so that when you lay your head down to sleep tonight, fellow radio hams, you can contemplate. What, in fact, would you get with an infinitely long helical antenna? My call letters, by the way, are W1GV Whiskey 1, Good Vibrations, or Grandiose Verbosity. Until next time, so long.